Okay, so we've got the uh, pedal steel's in tune, your levers and your pedals are in tune, you've got all your accessories, and uh, now you're ready to start playing. Um, so the first thing I kind of want to go over with you are some grips, and uh, what grips are basically is how to use your, your thumb, index, and middle finger on the strings. In other words, this is right hand technique. And so you're going to want to memorize these and then practice them because these grips are also going to come into, into play anytime you play chords, which is the next thing we're going to go into. So what I want you to do is take your thumb and put it on the 10th string, uh, index finger goes on the 8th string, and then middle finger goes on the 6th string. This is going to be your first grip. And then pick those at the same time. So that also is a major chord. So in this case, because um, this thing is tuned to E ninth chromatic, um, the tenth, the eighth, and the sixth, that's an E major chord. So that's going to be the first grip you're going to want to work on. Now the next grip is going to be the eighth string, the sixth string, and the fifth string. So A string with your thumb, sixth string with your index, fifth string with your middle finger. And again, that's also an E major chord, so same chord. It's a different inversion. So you got 10, 8, 6, 8, 6, 5. Your next grip is going to be 6, 5, and 4. 6 with the thumb, 5 with the index, 4 with the middle. And then finally, your next grip will be 5, 4, and 3. 5 with the thumb, 4 with the index, and 3 with the middle. And again, that's, a D, that's an E major chord with it being open. These are all different inversions. So 10, 8, 6, 8, 6, 5, 6, 5, 4, and 5, 4, 3. So these grips, you're going to want to really practice them, go back and forth. Get real used to playing them. Because these are also going to be all where all your chords are with all your changes, whether you're using your bars and your pedals and everything. So if we put the bar on the third fret, and notice now with my left hand, I've got my index finger over the top of the bar. My thumb is either on the side of the bar or under it a bit. And then my middle finger, ring finger, and pinky are on the strings behind the bar. My middle finger is what kind of indexes what I'm going to primarily play. In other words, if I'm playing a single note, the middle finger on sort of where my finger curves right before where that joint is, is actually the, the pad that's touching the string. And that's a reference point for me to move my bar up and down. So in other words, if I'm playing down on the A string, I want the bar to be back here. I don't want the bar to cover all the strings. If I go to the sixth string, I move my bar up. Five. So I move my bar back and forth as I pick the strings. So when I do these grips, if I'm on the 3rd fret, and I do 10, 8, and 6, that gives me a G major chord, which is what you see on the tablature right there. 10, 8, and 6 with the 3's um, next to it, that means that the 3rd fret with the bar. The next one's 8, 6, and 5. So notice I move the bar up. 6, 5, and 4. 5, 4, and 3.
So that's my G chord. If I want to play, um, say, a 1, 4, 5, or, you know, about any country song that would have G, C, and D, I can keep the bar in one position on the third fret. I can use the same grips, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change um, my pedals or levers depending on what chord I want. So for the G, and this is all in that first line of the tablature, for the G, it's just going to be on the third fret open. Six, eight, six, and or excuse me, ten, eight, six, eight, six, five, six, five, four, five, four, three. I'm going to take those same strings and I'm going to add my A and B pedals down. So now what you're hearing is you're hearing those strings change and I'm moving from my 1 chord or my G to my 4 chord, which would be my C. The nice thing is, is that my grips on my right hand, they don't change at all. So I'm still on 10, 8, and 6. 6, 5, 4, and 5, 4, 3. So I've got G, and I've got C. Now if I want um, my D pedal, all I have to do is lift up on the A, so I have my B engage, and then move the E pedal. That gives me that D, or, or D7 actually. And that E lever, um, I think I said pedal, I meant E lever. That E lever actually moves my E's and drops them to E flats. So it's B pedal and E lever. You hear that note go down. G. So that gives me my one, four, five changes without moving my bar at all, all in one position.